Community Development System played a pivotal role in developmental processes. They are vibrant, accurate in preferring common resolution to communal problems. While we look at government projects across the state, we will also be looking at how communities are for generation successfully organize themselves to build roads, palaces, drains, schools, hall, amongst many others. Welcome to another episode of Lagos Community Updates. I am Adejoke Shudendi Adenyoju. How is your community faring? Let's see. Lagos State Governor Babajide Olushala Sonwolu has re-emphasized his commitment to fulfill the promise made to the over 4,000 community development associations in the state. The governor made this known at the 2020 Community Day celebration held on the 22nd December at the Police College, Ikeja. In the address made via virtual conference video, Governor Sawolu spoke about the essence of the Community Day as he used the medium to mention the 377 ongoing projects across communities in the state which he promised to ensure they will be completed in due course. For our projects, I share three seven seven words. We are on CDC at the CDA. We are not in Mubon. We are on Lada. Lada. Kakiri. Dear. Dear. At the Boho. Ni. At the private PHC. Ni. At the Titi. Ni. At the Transformer. Ni. We are at the Promise. We are para para no la. I share ni. Dear. 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 So Commissioner, no let us only finish. Speaking on the prizes to be awarded to the outstanding communities of the year. The governor said his government won't relent on the act as the idea has come to stay. He thanked the organizers and community leaders for their continuous support. The man shall not do the CDC, the Toma come first, the Toma come second, the Toma come third. Mumma bear, Moto one and bear. Mumma bear, Lord of Juni, I didn't get a year like Baron Long. You mean to pay a Jackie, a two ye, a Jacob Bay. I want to thank all of you. I want to wish all of you the very, very, very best. Also speaking at the celebration was the first lady, Dr. Mrs. Ibijoke Sonwolu, who was ably represented by Mrs. Comfort at Daily Cave. In her speech, she urged communities in the states to continue to protect government properties within their localities, which were built with fortunes. Let me also seize this opportunity to urge you all to continue to be the eye of government in your respective communities by ensuring that this life and properties are safe at all times. We must Thirdly, protect public assets in our communities and ensure that they continue to serve the purpose for which they were provided in the first place. Commissioner for Local Government and Community Affairs, Dr. Wale Hakmed, in his address, thanked the executive governor of the state for making the event come to reality. 
He said the celebration of Community Day would further energize communities in the state and by extension encourage them to embark on more self-help projects. We thank Almighty God for making this program a reality because it takes place every year and we are happy it's taking place again this year to be able to re-energize our community and motivate people to continue to embark on self-help projects and be responsible in the various communities. The Lagos State Sanitary Offices were also on ground to ensure the strict observance of COVID-19 protocols. <laughs> Among the usual activities marking the annual celebration was the parades by the communities representing the 57 local governments and local council development areas in the state. The peak of the ceremony was the much anticipated presentation to winners of CDA with the most outstanding projects within the year on the review. The winner of the exercise were determined by the 15 man committee of the Ministry of Local Government and Community Affairs, who have painstakingly moved around the states to have on the field assessment of projects submitted by contesting CDAs. After the exercise, Oshoru Heritage CDA of Ikosi Sherry Local Council Development Area emerged winner, while Peace Estate CDA Ayoboy Baja and Itesiwaju CDA Ikorodu North Local Council Development Area came second and third, respectively. The winner of the third position for their construction of community secondary school and employment of teachers i like to announce from Ikorodu North, from Ikorodu North, it's a Siwaju Odokekere CDA. The second position winner, who came second because of their construction of drainages in 21 streets across the community, construction of 31 culverts, Grading of 21 roads with hardcore. Purchase and installation of three 500 kVA transformers. The purchase and installation of 100 concrete poles. Engagement of 36 security men and erecting security lights. From Ayobo Ibaja. Please put your hands together for Peace Estate CDA. First position executed eight major projects, and they include a mini water plant project, the drilling of two boreholes. Construction of 10 interlocked roads. Construction of drainage with non-returnable valve, which empties water into the river. Construction of embankments. Lighting up of the entire estates. Provision of fire hydrant system. The provision of a security gatehouse with facilities. And they scored a total of 77. And the winner from Ecosi Sherry, the winner from Ecosi Sherry, Osharu Heritage CDA. And Mr. Governor will be presenting their prize. As the top three winners continue with the celebration, 
Another 10 community development associations were called out for consolation prizes of 500,000 Naira each as a way of appreciating their contribution to community development in the states. This is a major achievement for us in our estate and uh, we appreciate the Lagos State Government for recognizing our self-help project that we have done across the years. Of course, uh, this, is, this is an opportunity that uh, we have that it means that government is listening and government is observing all the effort we have been doing. You know, we really appreciate the work. On behalf of the entire estate, um, we want to show uh, extreme gratitude and uh, we want to thank him for recognizing our self-help project for our estate. I feel very happy and I'm blessed with about 300 CDA in the entire uh, Lagos state. We are so happy. This is not the first time. This is the fourth in the series. And uh, today's ceremony, I brought two of the buses that convey us. It started in 2009 with Agbede Diorogo and followed by Agodo Shego and followed by Covenant CD Omalaye. And with this CD today, uh, we, you can see the beauty of a Kurudu dot. What we are doing about development. To thank the governor, the executive governor of Lagos State, Mr. Olushola Babajide Sanwolu, for ever approving this program to take place. It is an encouragement to the community members because he gave the approval at a time when things are really, the economy is really bad, it's in shambles. But for him to should have thought of encouraging the communities by asking us to celebrate the community day, which, is, which in a way is a, is a way of, you know, appreciating some CDAs who had contributed positively to the development of their environment and areas. We appreciate the governor for that. Community leaders spoke about the event as they thank Governor Bapajide Sonwolu for carrying them along in his vision of achieving a greater Lagos. We, 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 our city and our city are the real edges of growth. They are the owners of all our interventions in government. We need to ensure that once we set contractors out, you monitor them to ensure that they do and deliver quality service so that the schools and the hospitals and the roads that they are building meet the standard that is required of them. Every community needs basic amenities for habitable condition. While some are expectant of government intervention, others are not relenting in helping themselves to help the government. For helping community, you are helping yourself. If you have ability to do things, do it. As community stakeholders continue to contribute their quarter in the development of Lagos State, Governor Babajide Sungo Lu is working tirelessly to provide needed infrastructure and amenities while also supporting community initiatives for the benefit of all. Watch Lagos Community Updates on Wednesdays and Saturdays on this channel from 7 to 7.30 p.m. as we bring to your view accounts from various communities across Lagos. Lagos Community Updates, telling the story of your community. The Lagos State Government, through members of the Community Development Committee, embarked on an extensive sensitization campaign across the metropolis as part of measures to halt community transmission of COVID-19 pandemic, which is ravaging the world. Our people are not keeping to the, in accordance to what the government said. Of the government. Okay. 
Moving from one location to another to enlighten the people on the need to adhere strictly to precautionary measures laid down by the World Health Organization to prevent the pandemic from escalating beyond control, they urge residents to play their own part while the government plays theirs. We have influx of people coming from other states to Lagos and that is making it so difficult for government to control and to put this uh, number under check. But with the effort of the Lagos State Government, that is why we are not having even more than what we are seeing now. Otherwise, we will have had more than that number. But the effort the governor and his team are putting in place is what is saving the situation. Most of our people are not really observing the guidelines as expected. And that is what necessitated are going out today. Ala Aji Aziz Amzat, the chairman of Lagos Community Development Advisory Council, who spoke at the campaign flagship, said they decided to take the safety crusade to communities after observing low compliance from community members. We are now saying to, the, to our people, to the community, to sensitize them about their neglect and nonchalant towards the observance of these uh, guidelines. The governor is not happy that our people are no longer observing the guideline given in respect of COVID-19. What the government has said is that as at now, the isolation centers are fully occupied and there is no other place to put any sick person. The government wants everybody to see that they live safe and they observe the, the guideline the government has given. He said the directive and guidelines issued by the federal and state government were not strictly adhered to hence posing a lot of danger on the well-being of Lagosians. He is, however, optimistic that this public campaign will strengthen the advocacy on physical distancing, use of face masks and other preventive measures. What are these guidelines to observe personal and physical hygiene by washing our hands with soap and make sure that we use sanitizer to rub the hands. Others said it has become a matter of urgency to penetrate communities with detailed information on the risk involved in shunning safety measures. We are to go back home to give them the, the normal instructions on how to go about it by washing their hands with soap and clean water at all times. Keeping social distancing is very key. It is because of our, for our own benefit. They should know that COVID-19 is real, it's deadly, and it doesn't show on anybody's face. So they have to keep to the rules and regulations in order not to have this uh, virus. Coronavirus, <laughs> They reiterated the call of the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu that every Lagosian must take responsibility to win the war against coronavirus. Advocacy is very important when we have uh, pandemics like this, which involves you need to continuously educating people, tell them 
the usefulness of using the face mask, hand washings, all the lay down rules, the things you have to follow, social distance, so that you don't get infected. Members of the advocacy team, however, commended Mr. Governor for his giant effort since the index case was recorded in the country, February 2020. We want to thank him again for the love he has for the community and for the people of Lagos. As a matter of fact, he, his proactive steps assisted Lagos in overcoming or going this far in fighting this uh, coronavirus. We appreciate the governor. Given these programs down to the CDA, CDC of Lagos State, we definitely get to the grassroots because our members of communities have known our uh, ability in the past. Since we've started now, there will be tremendous improvement in the results that they normally get by the time all the CDA, CDC get to their grassroots and give sensation on this COVID-19 program. today's episode of Lagos Community Update, we want to leave you with this. Coronavirus is real. Let's join hands with the state government to avert the community spread of the pandemic. With that, we wrap up today's episode. Remember, you can join our social media platforms for comments and suggestions. And in case you have projects or programs in your community, do call the numbers on your screen. I am Ade Joker, Shoda India, Adenyoji. Till I come your way again next time. Every community needs basic amenities for habitable condition. While some are expectant of government intervention, others are not relenting in helping themselves to help the government. For helping community, you are helping yourself. If you have ability to do things, do it. As community stakeholders continue to contribute their quarter in the development of Lagos State, Governor Babajide Songo Lu is working tirelessly to provide needed infrastructure and amenities while also supporting community initiatives for the benefit of all. Watch Lagos Community Updates on Wednesdays and Saturdays on this channel from 7 to 7.30 p.m. as we bring to your view accounts from various communities across Lagos. Lagos Community Updates, telling the story of your community. Thank you.